Durer came from a family of 18. He was one of the few boys in the family, and he was uh, one of the youngest as well. Because of this affluency and this ability to have a lot of resources to his disposal, he was able to really show off his painting to his parents and, as a result, get professional teaching done. Um, so by the age of 13, Durer was already creating self-portraits of himself. And as time went on, his ability to create these uh, portraits became better. Uh, he became more bold with his feelings towards painting, and he became a lot more comfortable with his talents. And this audacity culminated when Durer produced this self-portrait in 1500. Albert Durer uses the late Renaissance style with the 16th century northern art. He uses the depiction of the natural world through precise detail and use of passion and emotion. Albert Durer uses great detail in his painting with his hair. It's very straggly and long. It looks a lot like real hair. Even his facial features are realistic and natural. It's not the prettiest face being put forward, but it is his own. He shows plenty of emotion and passion through his painting even though his facial features don't quite portray this. His passion is shown through the way his head, hand, and heart is emphasized by the light. His head because of his knowledge of art, his hand because he uses his hand every day to paint his wonderful art. Albert Durer was one of the first painters, if not the first painter in history, to start to make a mark on his paintings to show everyone that it was his. This acted as a form of a copyright for all his paintings. Um, it was the first thing you saw when you looked at his paintings. He, used, he did this by showing a monogram. Um, in this painting, it's to the left of his head, um, upper left-hand corner of the painting itself. It's an uppercase A, and then just below it's the uppercase D. And this stands for Albert Durer, as those were his initials. This was important um, because this is the first time, and this was going in the direction of trying to show how artists were more than just people who painted. They, they meant something. They represented something. And Durer does this by telling people right off the bat, I made this, I did this, and because of that, I'm an intellectual, I'm a renaissance man, I do more than just paint, I represent things. To emphasize his greatness, he painted on his painting a meaningful sentence to his viewers. I, Albert Durer of Nuremberg, portrayed myself in everlasting colors aged 28 years. This was painted just before his 29th birthday which is amazing because he was a very young painter. This was also his way at hinting towards immortality. By creating a self-portrait of himself, he made it possible for his ideals to live forever, even though his body is gone. Staying on the topic of immortality, Durer takes us to the next level. His face is elongated in this and symmetrical. He just does not have a three-quarter view or perspective that da Vinci popularized in the early Renaissance era. He's looking directly at you. And he's also changed his hair from a strawberry blonde to a brown color. And by doing all of these differences in his uh, appearance, he makes himself look like an icon. He makes himself look like Christ. And this is really important because people at the time didn't take this very well. They, they Normally, if you try to depict yourself as Christ, as the painting, you were going to get a lot of um, slack for People were not going to like you very much. But Durer gets around this in a very creative way. He emphasizes that... God created, creates people in his own likeness. And not only this, but the monogram we talked about earlier is a double entendre. It's not only his name as Albert Durer, it's also A.D., um, after death of Christ, and that he, he's celebrating like 1,500 years after Christ has died. And uh, by doing this, this painting acts as not only him talking about how he can make things immortal, but how God makes things immortal, how God gave him his ability to paint, and how uh, he should be, God should be celebrated for doing that. Now, as a modern popular culture, we see this painting as something that has been repurposed and reused over and over because his ideals were so great. An example of this was when this portrait was shown in the Dracula movie. It was shown as an idea of immortality that he created for himself. Overall, Albert Durer used the late Renaissance style and 16th century northern art to depict the natural world through precise detail and use of passion and emotion. He also does this by using the interest in proportion, ideal anatomy with all of his details, classical elements and forms relating himself back to Christ.